Hello, my name's Kevin, this is Dirty 20 Gaming, and this is my fourth playthrough of Outward, the survival RPG game. I'm really enjoying it. In fact, I'm enjoying it so much, I forgot to record the first five minutes. So, having said that, thanks for watching. Here we go. There was a small glitch there, so there was a small edit there uh, while I um, <clears throat> fixed the situation. And we're back. So uh, we are going to use the improvised bed here, as we attempted to do before. Have a couple hours sleep and confirm that and what should happen. As long as I don't stop doing anything this time or try to do anything else, what should happen is we will wake up, but not where we went to sleep. Unconsciousness comes quickly and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Really floods you as you recognize where you are. You're back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse in Tierzo. Your sad must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. Yeah, my buddy is in. Brought me home and apparently put me on the floor. That's my buddy. Take the boots. Take the attire. And that means we gotta get changed. We'll put that on. That's all good. And the nice thing with this game is everything that you can take, touch, use, interact with, all lights up. So I'll show you what I mean. See there, the little blue sparkly? That is my satchel. What's in my satchel, you say? Right now, bugger all, just the satchel. Apparently I like skulls. This is my lighthouse, apparently. You'd think there'd be some sort of backstory as to why I've got a bunch of skulls on a table. Anyway, my stash. Ooh, my stash, open my stash. Uh, you can have... That's going in there. That's going on me. My boots are going on me. And everything else can stay in there. So I've got the stuff on. Yep. So you have three levels of thing. Oh, I don't need this. You have three levels of stuff here. You have uh, what you're wearing, you have what's in your pocket, and what's in your satchel. So I'm actually uh, don't need a tattered boots, and I've already got green worker attire up here. So I'm actually going to open the stash again and put this stuff in there. So now I should only be carrying. Yes, that and that. I do that because weight is important. You can only have 10 pounds in your pocket, 25 pounds in this satchel. You can get a bigger satchel that allows you to hold more stuff, but not yet. There's some goodies in here too, some more gabberries. Over here we've got some jerky and some jerky. Good, good. <clears throat> this isn't stealing, it's from your own stuff. Here's the trick, you can't climb the ladder. It sucks. Let's turn down this rotational speed. What else have we got here? Let's take some bread. This is an oven. You can actually bake uh, stuff, and you actually have to. Some food doesn't last unless you cook it. Uh, and some food uh, goes bad if you cook it, and less bad if you don't cook it. It takes longer to go bad, I should say. Take jam, take everything. In fact, I might even be able to make... I have gabberries. Uh, take the improvised bedroll, take the flint and steel, take some iron scraps. Sure, let's do all of that. So. <laughs> a gabberry tartine, which is apparently toast. Because it's bread and jam. So let's craft some of that. There we go. We have now made toast. Which apparently allows us to spread our jam more easily. Also going to take the light, the lantern. 
but we are going to put it in our inventory. We're going to actually put it here instead of this. <clears throat> there we go. And we'll, it's just a quick button that way we can just get rid of it. Make sure we didn't miss anything in here. Annoying cupboard that I can't get into. As I said, you can't, uh, this game, you cannot uh, climb ladders. So I can't go up there, which is unfortunate because it's a lighthouse. And it would be nice to go to the top of the lighthouse. There's also no jump button. You can dodge, uh, you can crouch, but you cannot. Uh, Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? Yeah, they're a little pissy. Blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home. I already regret I ever came home, but I just woke up from a shipwreck, damn it. Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? I didn't sink the ship. It wasn't me. Uh, I have no money. If you yeah. can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home. Madman. Enough of this. Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once. Yeah. Pricks. To threaten someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh. Yeah, I'm a victim too. To their memory. Look at me. I'm so sad. But Chamber Lady Aberdeen. Who? I said that is enough. You heard the lady. If you want to resume discussions after the mourning period. Feel yeah. Free. Piss off. Leave me alone. Liel, see these people off, would you? You heard, mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. Ha! Take that, you Weasley shit. I'm sorry, that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. I can't Many believe it. have lost family and are not thinking straight. I can't believe they want to seize my home. If I could do more, I would. The Damn them all to hell. The is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. <sighs> Five that days. gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor and they won't be able to... Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please find a way to make it work. I will have to head outside the walls. That does seem like your most effective option, dangerous as it is. Never forget... No one is an orphan in Cierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. We didn't seriously crash like right there. That's the boat. Never really put that together before. Ugh. If you can do a great deed for someone in Cierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor. Once you're ready to leave Cierzo, speak with Burak, the gate warden. Remember, you only have a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. Here's the thing. I know where to go to do a tribal favor. And it's the same every time, so I'm not worried about that. The glowing sword is new. Commissioned it for me as a going away present. But with the shipwreck. Yeah, mom's not gonna let you go. Risa has already promised me that she and I will be having a long talk. Yeah, she give you shit. She your ma. I'll miss you and his aunt. Farewell, my friend. So, that's it. She's leaving. I gotta... What I didn't do before, and what I never remember to do in these games, is poke around everywhere. There's always stuff hidden in these games. Um, in weird places. So I'm just gonna trundle about. I never do this. It's probably very annoying to watch. But who knows? I don't know what's. Oh, look at that. See? Here we go. Quarterstaff. Huzzah. Attack number one. Whew. Attack number two. Defense. Yeah. All right. I like that. Can't get beyond that fence. We'll take that. Hit the bush. <laughs> Smack the bush. So, this is my little town. This guy will tell me all kinds of neat stuff about my town, but I know it already, so I don't really need to talk to him. 
This up here is the town hall. There's no real reason I'm going up here right now, other than I'm looking around trying to find everything I can friggin' find. There's a thing over there. An axe. Yeah. Axes are important because you can use them to fell trees and gather wood. And as uh, you can use that to... Oh, here, you can do it right here. Yeah, the reason I did that that many times is because I can now go and forge campfire kits. One, two... Three campfire kits. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I can. Uh, yeah. This is all the things I know how to make, but I do not have the equipment for them. Once I do, they'll appear up here by a manual recipe. Merge berries. See, this is one of those buildings I've been in before, but I never went and looked around in it. So we're just going to take the time, like I said, and do this right this time. Who knows what kind of goodies there are to be had. Or maybe there's nothing. Maybe I'm just wandering around a sort of visual-only structure. I mean, this is the town hall. We wouldn't want any bunch of valuables all over the place. But let's go down here and see what's here. Oh, oh well. See you. Here. Interact. I need the key to get through. All right. Learn stuff. Learning stuff all over the place. So, over there, there's another door. What's in here? <laughs> uh, all right. Marlin around here are nasty. Here. I feel like this is probably someone's private living space. from hot and cold temperatures. Okay. Doesn't reduce damage, just makes you resistant to the temperature. Okay. That's interesting. All right. I'm pretty sure I just stole from the mayor. So, hopefully, this, this fish motif is a bit much. I mean, I know we're a port city, but you think that would mean we'd had enough of fish? Well, I'm already way ahead of where I was the other three times I played this game by this point, because I got all kinds of neat stuff now. And the positive reinforcement required to make me keep looking. What's back here? Invisible wall. Oh dear, I've discovered an invisible wall. There shouldn't be invisible walls in 2020 in games anymore. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh. In regard, yeah. I'll show you what the. You can get all kinds of. It's all the basic questions of the game that need that uh, if you need to know like where to go to rest and all that sort of stuff. So. Chickens. Greetings, friend. Uh, I may have something for you. Sure, let's see what that means. Lend me your ear. I have this unusual item. <laughs> I'm always interested in curiosities. Oh, I think, oh, what have you I don't. Got? All right. Uh, I'm here about work. Lend me your ear. 
for something I can As do. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Um. Sure. Is what I need. Blister Burrow. Okay. Pardon my reach for a second here. Because this game doesn't always tell you, doesn't always remind you of the little things that you've agreed to do. So, rare mushroom. And blister burrow. Northeast of Tierzo. Okay, let's. That's that's an option. That's You'll definitely an option. You find it. Trogs in deep dark caves. It's immense size and red color, and she'll pay me seventy silver. Uh, I want to know what it is. Hmm. Y sure, I'm Perfect. desperate. I've never done this Make before. Make sure you have a good weapon. A lantern and plenty of supplies. Right. Lend me your ear. Head out the main gate, follow the road to the left. Get to another fork in the road at a wooden gate, turn left again. <laughs> left at gate. Left again. At intersection. Right. I'll see you. Okay, here we go. That was interesting. I never been to this one before, never talked to this person before, so that's the first time I've had that mission. I can't go in here, can I? No, not allowed in. That makes sense, it's not my house. Okay, this is the inn over here. But let's go search this little bit of grass. Who knows? Who knows? Junk pile. Look at that. Trade boots. Oh, a water skin. Nice. A cooking pot and boots. Excellent. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I have worker boots which are 1-1. One, one. <coughs> These are trade boots which are 4-2. Let's put those on. Put that into my pouch. Anything else that I want? Actual po yeah, I want these potions in here too, just in case. The reason I'm doing this is because sometimes when uh, you get beat up and knocked out and you wake up, your whole pack is gone. So um, you keep as much as you can in your pockets, or at least I do, especially food, stuff like that. Anything you're going to need to survive. That makes more sense. Just I like this now. Okay. So along here just to see if there's anything else. I wonder if I'm hungry yet. I should have checked. Not really. So to the inn, to the inn. Let's see. Cannot speak with the... Out here. Okay, that is it goes as slow as it goes. What is it? Uh, in the room, I'd like to talk. The customers have been talking. Okay, well that's the one I know about because I found them in the last game uh, out on the beach 
needing to be saved, so that's what that's a, now I know why that's there. I just found them by accident before. Let's have a poke around and see what we can find. Can I take the rope? Rope is good. Rope is an adventurer's best friend. Nope, can't take the rope. And I think... Who keeps a boat in their hallway? Who does that? Like on the second floor? Really? That's not smart. Quick swoop over here. This, man, those fish apparently are very stupid because all sizes of them are getting caught and used as wall hangings. It's like this town's version of the Black Velvet Elvis. That's the gate that we have to go out, but we're not going there yet. While we're over here, though, we are going to go and talk to a couple people. Izan, for one. I wish I could greet you with a smile, but, well, yesterday I was leading our most ambitious expedition in a decade. Now, well, the lighthouse wasn't lit at the time we made impact with the rocks. Dun dun dun. We lost everyone who was below the deck at the time of the accident. And all the stuff. Unfortunately, yes. What little we could salvage from the wreck has gone to the families of my drowned men. Fair enough. Kind as ever. Your parents would be proud. The blood price on your head is disgusting. You weren't even born when that track. More like find an early grave and lose a leg. Suffering doesn't help anyone. I'm sorry I don't have better news. Best of luck with... Actually, I do have a small stash of goods I hid in case of a disaster. Yep. Remember, you're not just a link in a chain. You're worth more than the blood in your veins. I said yep because I know where that, uh, that uh, treasure is as well, and it's not all it's cracked up to be. No, do not gather salt water. Do not drink the salt water. Nope. This is the water purification plant. Stupid birds. You can stomp right on the birds. Have a drink. Go over here and grab this water skin. And gather clean water so now I believe I've got two water skins Oop, both full so both with five doses six yeah, five doses each so that's good just a card just a card. I'm sorry sir you are a highly highly trained and skilled guard of the city I'm sure you just don't have any information that I need. That's all I'm saying. Uh, it looks like there might be something out at the end of this other dock, though. Did somebody throw their shield up on the... Mm -hmm. There's somebody who's playing frisbee with a shield and it's, they got it stuck on the roof. <laughs> uh, why can't I take rope? I want rope. I will take the harpoon because now I can go fishing. I never found a harpoon before, so now I know it's here. Go back over here where there's fishes. Fishes is. Go fishing. Fish. One larval egg. Ugh. Eww. Eww. Larva egg. Diverse restorative capacities. But if you eat it raw, it carries a chance of disease. Okay. All right. Uh, take the machete. 
couple more people to talk to here. We are almost done this little town. Oh, you're not a talker. Yeah, it just some of them just will not talk to you. <laughs> uh, good fun. Fishmonger. Greetings, friend. Uh, what is that? A gold ingot. It's worth a hundred silver. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't need anything from you, Carl the fishmonger. But over here, this sad-looking bloke needs a speaking with. Oh, what brings you here? How's my brother doing? He's alive. Yeah, shame about the shipwreck. Uh, accidents like this happen all the time. Not if the other lighthouse is lit. It wasn't me, though, that's for sure. Shouldn't you be helping with the wreck? He wants my help. Oh, this is the worst day I've had in forever. Yeah, so guess who was in charge of the lighthouse being lit? Prick. <laughs> oh, look, I didn't go over here before either. What's this? Shield, I think. Is that a terrible shield? Yes, it is. That is a plank shield. Okay, time to go back and do this. Uh, number three, we want the shield. Yeah. Number four, we want the machete. So that we can go three, four. Huzzah. Four. Four. Three. Huzzah. I want to go machete and uh, shield because it's a quicker weapon and shield offers better defense. Hey, guard. Can I help you? Uh, can you lend me a hand? Can I show you how to make the ceviche? Yes. Yes. Rainbow trout, seaweed, and some salt. Okay. All right. Sure. <laughs> I really wasn't planning on going fishing again, and I got salmon last time. But due diligence. Let's walk my way around up here and see what we can find. That is an incredibly flat skin. <laughs> like two-dimensionally flat. <laughs> Funny. Making makeshift leather hat, and makeshift leather attire, and makeshift leather boots. Now the thing with those is they are information. So all I have to do is read them. Boom, boom, boom. Now those three things are added to my list of things that I can make. So when I go to craft, they'll now be down here. I just don't have the stuff to make them, because I don't have any leather. These trainers here, I don't think I can afford them. What could I do for you? I wonder. What could I do for you? Train with me. 50 silvers, not now, I can't afford you. And you, if I remember Am correctly, are even more expensive. Curious. Amber, my friend. Six hundred, five hundred, one hundred, fifty, fifty. Yeah, I can't afford any of that. And I can't take their stuff. Unfortunate. Again, just trying to be really, really complete this time and talk to everybody in this game before, or in this town before I leave. 
I've already got way more stuff than I've had at this point in earlier games. I think that's it. So I've got a couple choices now. I can try and go make that 70 silvers. But what I'm going to do first... I'm going to go get my tribal favorite, which is down here. Um, except I haven't got what I need yet. Hmm. I need the bandages or healing potions. So let's go to the store. Maybe I can buy a healing potion. Or the alchemist. That's the alchemist. When I go to Berg, I'll come back and talk to you. Shopkeeper. Is there something you need? I wish to buy something. This is what I want. Bang. I will buy five bandages. There we go. Bag is overweight. Okay. So now I need to get in here and I need to move some stuff. Um, those boots were four, two. These boots are one, one. Well, let's see. Hang on a second. Why don't I sell Is some there stuff? Something you need? Can I sell stuff? Yeah. Sell that. Sell those. Sell that. Three, eight point seven. We're good. All right. Now we are going to go back where I just was, underneath here, through a tunnel, where we're actually going to need those because there's critters in them tunnels. I know we don't like them at all, but I just looked at the clock, so we are going to do that and do that and unpause the game right here which makes perfect sense because we have now finished our swoop around town and now we are about to head out and uh get to keep our damn lighthouse so as i always say thank you for watching if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down and let me know what i can do to make it better in the comments but please don't swear and if you really liked it hit subscribe and we'll see you next time because whatever game you play game creatively bye